Good evening, I'm Mark Blaine. Here's what's making headlines from across the county. The debate over LGBT protections under the law continues as the suit against a local baker returns to a local courtroom. In 2018, a Kern County judge ruled that local baker Kathy Miller could refuse to design and make a wedding cake for a lesbian couple citing her First Amendment rights. Now that case is back in court with the state's Department of Fair Employment and Housing suing the bakery owner on behalf of that couple. Miller's lawyers say that it's not about the right to marriage, but it's about the right to expression. However, lawyers for couple Eileen and Mireya Rodriguez del Rio, who, who were denied the cake, argue that policy goes against California's UNRU Civil Rights Act. That act provides protection from discrimination by business establishments on the basis of race, ethnicity, and freedom of speech. Both parties are arguing that they suffered damages as a result of the case. Now the latest on the Oak Fire in Mariposa County burning just outside of Yosemite National Park. Cal Fire now saying flames have consumed more than 18,000 acres, including 55 structures, residential and commercial. At last check, the Oak Fire is 26 percent contained. The cause remains under investigation. And anyone interested in a career in law enforcement, now is your chance to serve the community. The California Highway Patrol is looking to add 1,000 new officers to join its ranks. CHP says all you need is passion and a commitment to provide safety, service, and security to the people of California. This is video of their most recent applicant workout. There are six steps in becoming an officer, with the first being to meet the minimum requirements. For more information, head to that website right there on your screen to learn more. And our heat wave has continued 100 degrees right now. We'll gain another degree or two on top of that before we stop heating up today. But 100 is good enough to put us into day 16 of our heat wave. We're hoping it ends there. Leaning into the optimistic part of my brain, I'm going to go 99 tomorrow. It's definitely possible we get back up to 100, but I'm hoping we can break this heat wave and at least for one day fall into the double digits. Not going to make a lot of difference in the long run, though. We're looking at temperatures that are going to jump right back up into the triple digits and either be a very long heat wave number two or the beginning of heat wave number three. Mountain communities, we are keeping some chances for rain in the forecast. Not great chances. We're just looking at some isolated showers possible here and there and temperatures still running on the warm side. Brandon, thank you very much. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest updates anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23.com.